Grateful Living welcomes you to practical Christian living and giving in tough times. Whether it's a national concern affecting a large population or whether it's just you and your family, when tough times come, we want God's guidance on how to handle the issues. Hi, I'm Ray Hartwell, Director of Grateful Living for the Georgia Cumberland Conference. And I am Stephen Reese, Associate Director of Grateful Living. Although we live in the most affluent society in human history, 85 out of 100 Americans have less than $250 in available savings when they reach age 65. Mm. That means without counting retirement funds that a person who has worked from age 20 has managed to save less than $6 per year. Less than $6 a year. Right. Wow. Well, you know, even before tough times come, a practical Christian would do well to establish a savings plan, often called an emergency fund. The Bible encourages saving, Steve, and being prepared for the future. That's not a lack of faith, but it is being prudent and it is good stewardship. In fact, verses right. like Proverbs 20:21 20, says, In the house of the wise are stores of choice food and oil, but a foolish man devours all that he has. See, they're stored up for the future. And Proverbs 6, 6 to 8 tells the wisdom of even the ants says, go to the ant, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. That's right. It's important during tough times to keep sharp when it comes to your funds. That's right. Your banking and your savings, a good Christian steward will manage well the assets that God has placed in their hands and plans of uh, savings. In fact, financial advisor counsel Count, financial advisors counsel to have at least three to six months equivalent of your living expenses in an emergency fund in a mm -hmm. savings that mm -hmm. is in cash, readily available, easy yes. to get to, it needs to be very liquid so you can access it at any time without penalty. Some are even saying for up to six to 12 months now. What if you don't have an emergency fund? Yes. Might sound overwhelming to fund three to six months. Start with a goal. Mm -hmm. Get $1,000 as soon as possible. Then have a regular plan to add to that each month until you can achieve that goal. So uh, when you do that, how do you want to handle this fund? Well, we don't want to put it under a mattress or stuff it in the piggy bank in the child's room. Select a bank or credit union and open a savings account there. Now, you might also consider a money market account at a bank. However, not all banks are created equal. At the time that we're filming this right now, online banks, that is a bank that you can open an account with over the internet, uh, they don't have a building anywhere, but they're offering a much higher rate of interest for regular savings. And most of them are FDIC insured. Their interest rates can be up to 2% more than a brick and mortar bank on the main street in your town. That's right. So what does that mean to you? It doesn't sound like a lot. However, let's take an example. If you have $3,000, in an online bank earning 2% interest each year, you would receive $60 on that by the end of the year. Okay. If you have 3,000 in a traditional bank, on average paying the common rate of 0.2%, mm. that's currently mm. what it is, interest rate per year, you would receive a whopping $4 wow, at the $4. end of the year. So that's a $56 difference. So be smart with where you're putting your money for your emergency funds. Now, we're not recommending borrowing money, but should you need to borrow money for a car or a mortgage on a house, consider joining a credit union. Often their lending rates are less expensive than a traditional bank, and they may actually be easier to work with, too, when you have to go through all the details. At the same time, some of these online FDIC-insured banks may have the best home mortgage interest rate out there. It'll all depend on your credit score, but I found that to be the case when I was shopping for our home mortgage. The main focus should be to have as little debt as possible and save for your emergency fund. That's right. Now, even if you want a local bank that you can walk into the lobby and you can speak with a teller, you could use a local bank just for your checking account and a debit card. All right, so just one caution. Wherever you bank, wherever you save your money, just be prepared for the advertisements that they're going to send your way. Banks are going to try to entice you to borrow money. Mm -hmm. After all, right. what's the bank in the business of doing? Lending money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we want to save for emergencies. For we want to save and plan. But yet our trust is not in our own wise planning, but in God. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says from the Message Bible, Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. 
Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Everywhere you go, he is the one that will keep you on track. <laughs> Grateful Living, along with the other ministry departments of the Georgia Cumberland Conference, are glad to serve you in your Christian growth.